here is the Nile. Welcome to the bigger part of the Nile. If you want to take pictures of the Nile, come back to this palace and take the management. One o'clock right side, you have the Sierra newspaper for the Okay, we are entering into the Cairo Museum. It's 117 years old. And they're building a new one right now over right next to the Giza pyramids. So this is pretty cool. We're about to go into the Egyptian Museum. Waiting for all of our group to come in. The center up high is the Kao Hathor, symbol of love, beauty, joy, and maternity. Now I will have tickets. Everything we look at now is original reading except one piece in this huge museum. That one piece is here. It's the copy of the Rosetta Stone. It's a piece of stone written in three scripts. Hieroglyphic, language of the ancient Egyptians, demonic, language of the commoners, and ancient Greek. Owing to his knowledge of ancient Greek, he was able to decipher the other scripts. Wow, look at this boat. That is a full boat. We're starting with the interesting statues through here. the mummy and you saw Imhotep and all this. This is King Zoser who had the step pyramid and who Imhotep built him the, the, the pyramid. So Imhotep in Egypt was a genius high priest and a genius architect who was building in stone for the very first time ever. How old is this? 4,700 years old. Wow. wow. Made from limestone. Wow. This way. We saw the Great Pyramid, Second Pyramid, Third Pyramid, right, in Giza? This is the king who had the Third Pyramid. It's now closed for restoration. But guess what? We found inside the pyramid five statues. Three of them in this museum, and two others are in Boston Art Museum, Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, United States. Look at the king. We are talking 4,600 years. Can you imagine? Look at his chest bone. Look at his belly button. Look at his, <laughs> look at his knees. Look at his legs. Perfectly shown. Every detail. Those artists were detailed. 4,600 years old. Stone, wow. This perfect 4,600 year old. After they bury the mummy, that part will be, as a lid, will be uh, covering it. All the glass and wood here is new. Some it's plain, other times they have recesses and the cartouche with the arm for the key of life. It's north, south, river night, female, male, child, or it represents the uterus where the baby is born inside the mother's womb. Okay? This Ooh. funeral chamber is 4,300 years old. You tell me, no, 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 no way. No way that the colors can stay that long. It is 4,300 years old. What happened when you have a wall at home? 20 years old, paint, with nails. Look at this, 4,300 years old. Unbelievable. Why is it so vivid? This man looks bored. He is making bread all day. At the feet of the oven, give him headaches. Look at this. He's holding his back up really 100% super trooper. Here we have making the wine, crushing grain. Making one, the art to show the details, show freedom in motion in statues of servants. Compared to royalty, rigid, powerful, strong, this is how he wanted to be resurrected. Remember that temple I took you to for the mummy 
magnification next to this face. Mm -hmm. Remember where I told you the tourists are throwing money making wishes? This statue was found at the bottom of this wishing well. How old? 4,600 years old. Made from diorite. Look at the beauty. You know diorite is a very hard stone. Harder than granite. What cut diorite is diorite or diamond. Can you imagine? To cut this stone, either diamond or diorite. The eyes were inlaid. White of the eye, it is the opaque alabaster. Cornea is rock crystal kept in a copper socket. So lightly, as if they're real. They are inlaid oh, stone. Oh. Look at the beauty, look. Big round face, high cheek, big belly, left and forward. Don't you think that he looks like Marlon Brando? <laughs> <laughs> this is a wooden statue made from sycamore, 4,300 years old, and the eyes are inlaid. 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 Wow. His name was Ka Eper. He was a uh, nobleman and, and he was a nobleman. But the, uh, the neighbors who found him called him the mayor of the village due to the strong resemblance between him and the mayor of the village. This so is a life-size couple. And look at the, uh, what is written on the back of their throne, their title. 4,000. Jeez. So this fresco was found with all of its colors intact and it's 4,600 years old. That's impressive. Go stand in front of that so I can really show how big it is. <laughs> yeah, that's big. That's gold. All gold. Wow. We are in the area of King Tut now. 1922 by Howard Carter. 16 steps leading to this long person at the wall, the anti-chamber mummification beds. into this box of solid alabaster and then this box of solid alabaster was placed inside of here and this was just to house the internal organs
the detail on this mommy that's so old. They even unwrapped her feet. Poor left foot got damaged. So we spent the the little start over. So we so we spent the last about hour and a half on a guided tour of the Egyptian museum. We were able to see um, so much that our heads are spinning. I can't really tell you anything that we saw, we saw other some than mummies. yeah, we just saw mummies. Those are real mummies. That was crazy. Eula and Tula are their names, husband yep. and wife. Real um, mummies. We saw the King Tut exhibit. We were not allowed to film in there. Jason snuck one little picture of his headpiece. It was an accident. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. So I just took the picture because it's like habit. To habit. Take yeah. So and they fussed at me. They said no pictures. But they didn't make him delete it. They made some other people delete there. So. I got lucky. Yeah. So we are in the manuscript room right now. We're gonna take a look. We've got about 30 minutes to explore on our own after our guided tour and then hop back on the bus for the ride back. So what do you think of this museum? Uh, it's good, it's good. It's um, It's got such history in it. Um, as far as the museum, it's, it's, it's an older building. It's a basic building. It's got, you know, all this archives and artifacts mm -hmm. and stuff. And these big wooden boxes sitting on the floor. Yeah. So it's not like it's super fancy. You know, you've been to some museums and it's like state of the art. Well, this is not the case. But yeah. we saw King Tut's mask. Um, we saw his headgear. We saw his, uh, what do you call them? Not the necklaces, but the collar pieces. The col collar pieces. Mm -hmm how they were made and the intri intricate detail oh my gosh. that they put into those before they had machineries and, and the tools to do that. So it was uh, it's really impressive. It is. Yeah. So this building is 117 years old. They are building a brand new museum in Giza right next to the pyramids. That's supposed to be open in the next 10 months. They're going to take all of the really cool stuff from this museum and move it over there. Yeah, all the highlighted stuff's going to be over there. Yeah. But this will still be an active museum, mm -hmm. but the really cool stuff's going to go over there. And mm -hmm. they said it is the, or will be, the largest museum in the world. In the world. Yeah, the biggest museum in the world. And it's impressive. It's, it's a beautiful there. It's building. It's huge four ceiling windows all the way at the end of the building that uh, you can look out and see the pyramids. Yeah. So if you come in about a year, you're going to have a different experience than we did at this museum. So this is a papyrus scroll. And we saw earlier today how papyrus was made. It's basically a plant that they take and cut down and press it and squeeze all the water out of it and it makes a piece of paper. So this was the earliest writings, the earliest writing paper invented. And this whole wall here are these long papyrus and the colors that are still on so many of them these are thousands of years old and look at how i mean it looks like this was drawn yesterday mm -hmm. with all the colors in there yeah some of this stuff is four thousand years old oh yeah i think the oldest artifact that we saw was 4600 years 4, old 600 years old and still pretty intact yeah it's unbelievable so we've found a case of weaponry. So these are bows up here. And we have a case of arrows, arrows and, and arrowheads. Arrow so these are the arrow shafts. And the arrowheads. My only complaint is looking, you can look at all these cases, there's no dates on them. There's a number. So I guess if you have a catalog, you can look up its age and what it is. But as far as just us coming to the museum, we can't see ages. So that was why it was really cool having that guided tour. That woman has so much knowledge, it's crazy. Yes. How she can remember those names and dates and just like yeah, in case that. you're wondering what these things are, these are called whispers. Mm -hmm. And we can listen to everything she says while we're in here because it's such a loud place. There's so many people through here, plus there's echoes. This just makes it a lot easier to hear 
um, what she's saying. Right, in so a that was group cool. situation, yeah. A giant pizza cutter. A giant pizza cutter. That is exactly what it looks like. I wonder what it is. So this whole room is tools, both, you know, um, actual tools, weapons, things you would use around your household. Here, homes. Is that all those combs? Look like combs. Wooden comb for yep. keeping uh, coiffure. Coiffure. Your hair. Your hair in place. Oh, here. Group. Oh, these were mirrors, Jason. Oh, well, mirrors. These were mirrors. They just tarnished. Yeah. Wood, bronze, and ivory. You could use them as uh, bread flippers, though. Yeah, they could be bread flippers. I know somebody's going to laugh at us that knew that was a mirror but to me it looked like a well, pizza cutter the, the, or bread there's no reflective too. surface on it right anymore. that's the one instruments oh oh yeah that's like a harp you can't see the strings hold on now you can see the strings that's like a harp well, symbol mm -hmm. and flutes a musician of course would figure that out Oh, that's like a little, like a little shaker thing. Shaker, yeah. yeah, you shake them or and they like make noise. Yeah, that was like a giant piece of farming equipment, and then you've got like shovels and axes and things yeah, this, like this that. Is your tiller. Mm, yeah, tiller. I couldn't think of what that was called. That's so that's your, an that's, your tiller. that's an ancient tiller. And then you can see all the the hoe heads or axe heads for um, collection of blades. The wooden handles are lost. Here's another headpiece. This is not King Tut. We saw King Tut's earlier. So this is how a mummy was wrapped. It says mummy in a rectangular wooden coffin. So that is a real mummy. It still has its face piece on. Oh my goodness. So this is a cool room. This is when you think of a mummy, right? Yeah. With its wrappings. When it's wrapped up with like this mesh or nylon material. So this one's um, intact. They never unwrap. Oh no, that is just the wrappings. It's just wrappings. So the mummy is gone. That's just the wrappings. So we're done in the museum. Yep. They have soda outside. Outside, Dr. Pepsi. Pepsi, but hey, Not it our gets favorite. the job done. <laughs> but uh, man, when you need some carbonation, you haven't had some in a while, it works as the job. Absolutely. You know, I was noticing just a little while ago, oh, by the way, they do have Starbucks. Uh, I've seen a couple Starbucks around here. I didn't see a Starbucks. I did as soon as we were going over into Cairo. Oh, Starbucks but is one, everywhere. Another thing I noticed is they also have a Hilton. <laughs> they sure do. So we spent right at two hours in the museum. Probably saw a quarter of what's in that museum. So if you're big into Egypt history, you want more than two hours in there. Oh, yeah. We got our fill. You know, we got our heads are spinning with names and dates and all and, of that stuff. And to be honest with you, I can only do so much. <laughs> yeah. <in museums. laughs> After about 20 minutes, I'm like, oh. I was like, Jason, are you oh, bored? What time is it? Yeah. I think it's time. To go. <laughs> but it was a fun experience. Just being honest. Yeah. It was a, but for, as far as museums go, it was unique yeah. because you can't get that stuff anywhere else. There's like a piece here and there. The British Museum has some of the Egypt stuff. Um, and they said that there's like a piece in Berlin and a piece in Boston, different places, but a lot's here. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Um, Egypt is, um, is something you have to come and experience at least once. Um, it's do your research before you come so you yep. know what to expect. Know what you're getting into when you come here, but just enjoy it for what People it is. It's a little bit nice, although we've had a very private and guided tour. Mm -hmm. It's been very safe. We had police escorts with, uh, that escorted the convoy of buses that we were on. Yeah. I think we had six or seven buses that were with us in the convoy, and um, we had security and it was escorted. So, But outside of that, People have been nice and um, a little pushy to buy stuff, but nice. Just do your research and know what you're yeah. into. All right, see you later. Go. Bye.
So we are back on the ship now. Got a cold beer. What a day. What a day. So we got off the ship at 6.45 a.m., got on buses, drove two and a half hours to Giza, saw the pyramids, saw the Sphinx, had lunch, crossed the Nile into Cairo, went to the Egyptian Museum, and then drove two and a half hours to Port Said, which is where we are now. We're Port Said right now. But um, look look at our view behind us. Yeah. This is Said. You this guys, is look Port at the, Said. Look at the architecture of those buildings. They have really beautiful architecture and then they have a lot of stuff that's just not very beautiful. Yeah. Um, you know, um, all, all the businesses are on the bottom of the buildings mm -hmm. and apartments on top of the businesses. Mm -hmm. I mean, from one block to the next, mm -hmm. for miles and miles, everywhere you look. And they have their laundry hanging from their balconies, um, but they have their little direct TV dishes. And, um, but it's, um, they call that uh, lower middle class. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, it's, 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 it's kind of poor, it's kind of poor. You know? So we have been today, we docked in Alexandria, We've been to Giza, we've been to Cairo, and now we're in Port Said. So we have really seen a lot of Egypt. Um, Port Said looks to be the most affluent of the cities we've been to. Yeah, yeah. Um, when we were porting into Alexandria, I mean, in between all the, the buildings and stuff, it was all dirt, wasn't even really any concrete. You know, you see rickshaws flying around, donkeys. Um, yes. You know, and then you see regular cars. It's really kind of a melting pot of things going it on. It is. So it's it's strange. And then you'll see really, really nice upscale buildings. And then right next to it looks like the slums, you know? Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, everybody's very kind of passionate. They want to get their, their dollar, mm -hmm. um, which I understand. You got to make a living somehow, mm -hmm. but it was a bit aggressive. Yeah. The pyramids were awesome sight to see. We got the picture. <clears throat> Lots of pictures. It can be a little taxing on the nerves a little bit with the, with the how with the amount of aggression that there was as far as them coming up to you and wanting to um, sell you something, or... sell you something, or or hey, give me your phone so I can take your picture and this and that. This and this went on and on and on and on and on, and I just run out of patience. <laughs> You know, I can all, I'm only so nice for so long, and then after a while, it's just like, look, man, back off, you know? Yeah. But, uh, anyway. So we're gonna hang out back here and watch our sail away, which we don't know what time we're sailing away. Like I said, it's 9.30, probably in the next half hour, so. Yeah. This is uh, a nice deck out here. Yeah, this is on deck five. This mm -hmm. is the after the ship, very after the ship. It's got a nice little bar, TV, and loungers. Yeah. So Lisa and I thought we would post up here, um, have a drink or two before we settle in for the night. Tomorrow, we have another big day. We're in Israel tomorrow. Yeah. Jerusalem and Bethlehem. One of the, so, the, the things that I'm most looking wow. forward to, I never thought I would get the opportunity to walk on the holy ground. I know. So I'm personally super excited for that. So can't wait to show you guys what that's about. We're gonna all see it together for the first time. Yep. So it's gonna be awesome. It is. I'm so excited about this trip. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Lisa is entering the church. Well, that stop lasted about two and a half minutes, and then the rain came. So we are in Jerusalem. We are with a guided tour, so we're kind of trying to keep up and do what we can. Ooh. 